It was 19 degrees outside here in Hamden today, and that cold came in on Lender Court as the Quinnipiac Bobcats took on the Iona Gales. They took home a 62-61 win, 11 straight, but Josh, the first half was not good. Let's talk about it. No, the first half for this team definitely wasn't good. They didn't hit a three the entire game. They were, I mean, the entire half, they were 0 for 12. And the second half, they were able to turn that around, and they got a much-needed win for this young team. Very much needed, and one thing that was very important was the freshman talent. Tell us about it. Definitely. Paula Stramone was 6 for 9. She finished with 14 points. Erin McClure uh, finished with 22 points, and just the value that they bring down low is, is unmatched. They really can turn, the, turn any game around. One thing that was key in this game was the difference in the offense for Quinnipiac between the first half and the second half. What do you think was the major switch? Yeah, in the second half, they hit 62% of their threes, and the shots were going in. Once Brittany Martin hit that one three, a light, you know, a light sw turn on for them. They were, they were more comfortable. They were able to really to shoot the ball, and it really showed. I mean, they were more comfortable. Carly Fabry hit two threes. The whole team just, you know, they seemed to rally around each other. Overall, Josh, how big was this win for this team? This was a big win because they beat the number one seed in the MAC, which they will need to do if they want to be the number one seed. They move within one game of them. They play St. Peter's on Sunday, who they should beat. And then they play Iona again in Iona to end the year. And I think this could be a preview of the MAC finals. Now, Josh, the biggest question that this team is facing, when will they lose? Well, they're on 11-game win streak right now. And Honestly, I do see them losing to Iona in the last game of the season in Iona. I think that will actually bring them down to earth and get them ready to play. I think then that way they will work on their mistakes more and be ready for tournament play. That game's going to be, be a big one at Iona, but for now, Quinnipiac has won 11 straight. For John, for John Franklin alongside Josh Silverman, we'll see you next time.